Going across to Rajdeep Sardesai for more on that. Rajdeep is expected the Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh just underscoring the role of Kalyan Singh over the last few decades or so and more so the legacy he leaves behind the Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh during the Babri Masjid demolition. Absolutely, Esneya. Kalyan Singh symbolized in a way the rise of the BJP in the Hindi heartland by bringing together the forces of Mandal and Mandir. He was an old RSS man and therefore was very much part of the Ram Janma Bhumi movement, but he was also significantly an OBC, a load leader. When that came together, it gave the BJP an opportunity to score its first ever electoral majority in Uttar Pradesh in 1991. And while he was the chief minister when the Babri Masjid demolition took place, and in a way that, uh, uh, in a way, consumed his political career because he was never quite the same all powerful leader post Babri Masjid that he was before it. The fact is, without Kalyan Singh, the BJP would not have had their footprint in Uttar Pradesh in the early 90s in the manner that he had. He was easily their most significant leader in Uttar Pradesh in the first half of the 90s in particular. And therefore, given the fact that Uttar Pradesh has played such a significant role, Sneha, in the rise of the BJP uh, to power in Delhi, uh, Kalyan Singh will remain, at least within the BJP pantheon, a very, very important leader. 2009 is when he actually quit the BJP, went to the Samajwadi Party, but within four years, essentially, he was back to the BJP. What really prompted Rajdeep this return uh, at this point in time, even though Kalyan Singh was not very active then? You know, Sneha, that was the autumn of his career. He was by then a leader in search of a party. The BJP by then had moved to a new leadership in Uttar Pradesh. Kalyan Singh was aging and he was looking for, uh, you know, the. he was almost a leader nostalgically looking for his past when he was this all-powerful leader, could not discover it. And as he found out that out of the BJP and the Sangh Parivar, he, life was even more difficult, which is why he returned. And there are instances like Uma Bharti and others also who've uh, gone out of the BJP but eventually had to come back. Kalyan Singh's roots were in the BJP. This was his party. This is the party he had built in Uttar Pradesh. His links, particularly with the Sangh Parivar, were very strong in Uttar Pradesh. And he had come to symbolize the particular, as I said, confluence of Mandal and Mandir. He could do that while he was in the BJP. When he left the BJP, his arrangement with uh, with um, uh, with uh, Mulayam Singh was never going to work because they were sworn enemies. You know, you, you will recall that turbulent period in the 1990s when Mulayam Singh and Kalyan Singh were the two powerful leaders of Uttar Pradesh before Mayavati came and she became a sort of the third, she and Kashiram sort of created a third force. But uh, post the Congress's decline, it was Kalyan Singh and Mulayam Singh who were prime adversaries. And it was very difficult to imagine that the two of them would be able to work together. So it never really worked out for long. And therefore, in the last phase of his career, in a way, he was drifting. But in his pomp, in his peak in the 1990s, there is little doubt that he was a leader who could even stand up uh, to the central leadership of the BJP. And I think Atal Bihari Vajpayee and he also, in particular, never had an easy relationship. And once Atal Ji became prime minister in the late 90s, Kalyan Singh's decline was even sharper and more pronounced. In spite of the fact that uh, that he was an OBC and load leader, something that the Prime Minister today, Rahul, has also spoken about, underscoring that the Prime Minister has also just tweeted a few minutes ago.